Let's talk about a capacitor dropper. I want to light an LED with 120 volts AC and use it for a pilot light. So I looked up the spec sheet. It says that the LED draws 20 milliamps at 2.5 volts DC. Now I'm thinking I'll drop 4 volts across the, the bridge rectifier and then whatever voltage I get out of here I can adjust with a, a, a resistor in series with the diode. So if I take uh, 20 milliamps and divide it into 116 volts, which I want to drop across here, that's going to be 5,800 ohms. To find a proper capacitor for that, to find a capacitance, you take uh, 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitive reactance. So I'm going to take uh, 6.28 times 60 times 5,800 ohms, and it comes out to 0.46 microfarads. The closest capacitor is going to be a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. You can't use an electrolytic capacitor. They'll just burn up. You need to use a non-polarized capacitor that's good for at least uh, you know 250 volts. I didn't have a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. I do have a 0.68 microfarad capacitor that's good rated for 250 volts. So the capacitive reactance of that at 60 hertz is going to be uh, you know take this formula and calculate it out. It's going to be uh, uh, 3902. Now, to find the impedance of this circuit, you know, I'm leaving out the impedance of this, it's by about 130 ohms. But we take uh, the square root of the resistance squared plus the capacitive reactance squared. So if I put those figures in here, it's going to come up to 3912 ohms. Okay? Now, if this is 3912 and I and I'm dropping 116 volts across here, I'm going to be drawing 30 milliamps through there, which will be fine. And that means I'll have uh, 116 volts here and 4 volts across here. This 1 mega ohm resistor up here, that's just to discharge the capacitor if I remove the, the load from here. Uh, to, d to, f to calculate that, it's just the uh, time constant. It's going to be the uh, 1 meg times the uh, 0.46 uh, or 0.68 microfarad capacitor and so it comes out to 0.68 uh, seconds for to reduce the voltage you know 63 percent and they figure to get down to zero volts it's five time constants which would be about three seconds but that's going to be fine I'm not going to remove the, the diode probably don't even need this so we'll take a look at uh, how it works and uh, we'll take some measurements, see how, see how the math came out. All right, I've got 120 volts coming in, 28 milliamps on the AC side, uh, 4.2 volts on the AC side of the rectifier, and uh, 2.3 volts across the uh, LED. Looks like the math uh, worked out pretty good. Thank you.